Hi everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem right away. We have um square root of x plus two x equals ten. Okay, the first thing we are going to do is to make this the subject so that root x will be on the left hand side then I will write 10 minus 2x now the next target is to remove the square root from here right and the only way you can remove square root is to square it so I will now have the square root of x this will now be squared then on the other hand we'll have 10 minus 2x now, if I leave it at this point, this is wrong because I have squared the left hand side. So the right hand, um, the right hand side will also be squared. Now, this will go with this. And that, that was the reason for squaring both sides, just to remove the square root. So you write your x and it will be equal to this in two places. 10 minus 2x into 10 minus 2x because of the square on it right okay now to continue from here we already have x on the left and it's 10 times 10 is 100 10 times 2x is 20 so we add x then minus 2x times 10 that will give another minus 20x and then minus 2x times minus 2x we're going to have plus 4x to the power of 2. Okay, we have plus 4x to the power of 2. So that here we have x to be 100 minus 40x. That is minus 20x minus 20x, right? Then plus 4x squared. Now we're going to write this write 4x squared this is minus 40x this okay before writing the 100 the 100 let's write this this becomes negative since it is coming to meet with the others okay and then we now have um, plus 100 nothing is on the right nothing is on the right anymore so we put zero over there now we have 4x squared minus 41x because minus 40x minus x will give us minus 41x plus 100 and this is equal to 0. This right here is a quadratic equation, right? And this quadratic equation, we cannot reduce the, uh, reduce the equation because 41 cannot be divided by 4 without remainder, right? So let's use formula to deal with this. And the formula has a, which is going to be 4, the coefficient of x squared. It has b, which is minus 4 to 1, the coefficient of x. And then we have the c, which is 100, the constant. Now, what is the formula? The formula will be x equals okay we have minus b x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a okay so what we'll do now is to just put in the values of a b and c okay so our x will now be in place of minus b i'm going to have 41 because we have negative and negative so it's going to be positive 41 plus or minus then b squared is going to be negative 41 and that's a square on it right so you put in bracket minus 4 times our a is also 4 and our c is 100 okay we'll now divide 
by 2 times 4. Right? Let's continue. Okay, so we have our x to be 4 to 1 plus or minus we we'll have minus 41 squared will give us 1681. 1681 minus 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 100, that will be 1600. Then this is divided by 8, 2 times 4. Right? Now our x from here is 41 plus or minus. 1681 minus 1600 will give us 81 then we divide by 8 now to go ahead now we're going to have our x to be 41 okay okay this is 41 plus or minus square root of 81 is 9 then we divide by 8 we divide that by 8 Okay, so from here now we're having x to be 41 plus 9 over 8 or we have 41 minus 9 over 8. Let's continue. Okay, so now our x is equal to 50 over 8 or we have 32 over 8. Now we have our x to be, let's reduce this, 50 divided by 8 is, um, 50 divided by 2 rather is 25 and 50 divided by, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Or here now 32 divided by 8 is 4. So therefore x is 25 over 4 or 4 but the question is do you think both of them will satisfy this particular equation square root of x plus 2x equals equals 10 right now let's work with this whole number 4 okay so now we're going to have square root of 4 if we put in the value of x then plus 2 times 4. Will this give 10? Let's take a look. Square root of 4 is 2. And then 2 times 4 is 8. And at the end of the day, we have 10. So that means that x to be equal to um, 4 satisfies the equation. And this also means that x to be equal to 25 over 4 does not satisfy the equation.